What is up guys, Key here. Today we are gonna be talking about the most used shortcuts that I use when it comes to recording, editing, or mixing vocals in FL Studio 20. So let's dive right into it. That sounded pretty dope, right? So right away, we're gonna talk about the toolbar shortcuts. If you click P, it's going to select the pencil. If you click C, it's going to select the slice tool. And if you click T, it's going to select the mute tool. These are gonna be the top three tools that I use. One helpful tip is if you get yourself a mouse that allows you to select between the two. This here is a MX Master 3 for Mac. This is not sponsored. It does have macros or keystroke assignments that I'm able to program the letters into. So I'm able to switch between the toolbar selection just by clicking on the mouse. You're able to select an application within Logi options. In this case, I'm gonna select FL Studio and then you're able to program those keystroke assignments within Logi options. Once you program those keystrokes, there's no issues and you're able to use it right away. The second thing we're gonna be talking about is grouping. After you record a track, in this case, I recorded a hook for this song, you are able to select that hook, Shift G, and what it does is it groups your tracks. Hooks are repeated throughout the song. If we know that our hook is right here, you are able to select this hook by holding shift and left click and you can drag it to that position where the hook begins. If you want to ungroup, you can select by holding command or control, left clicking and it's going to select it. And then you are able to press option or alt G to ungroup everything. That way you are able to remove all the individual stems again, but I'm going to keep those. <laughs> Another thing that I like to use is zooming into the playlist horizontally and vertically. You just hold command and scroll wheel. If you wanna zoom in horizontally, you would press option or alt plus the scroll wheel to zoom in vertically. This helps when it comes to looking at the WAV file a little bit deeper. If I zoom in there, I can see that I wanna get rid of this sound or something. That's what it would be useful for. The next thing that I wanna show you is slip mode, or at least that's what Pro Tools calls it. I don't know what FL Studio calls it, but basically, if we want to make any adjustments to the individual stem WAV file, with line selected, it's going to snap to the next available bar. If you press Option or Alt and left click and drag, it takes snap mode off. You're able to adjust the wave file or stem to wherever you want it. I would use this for taking out unwanted sounds or like background noise or unwanted breaths in the vocal mix. I use this option quite a bit. Since we are already holding down option or alt, if you left click, you are able to hear an individual stem within the playlist. If you want to hear this part of the hook, you can just hold down alt or option and only love right me when click, that money's round, yeah. you get to hear an individual stem. And this works down, with yeah. every stem, even uh, drum loops, whatever is, even the samples, whatever is in the playlist, you are able to individually hear it. This helps, especially when it comes to like breath sounds. Uh, Maybe there's something I didn't want in that vocal mix. I'm able to determine if I want that taken out or left in. The next thing we have is the record function. An easy shortcut is just R. If you press R, it's going to record. If you select R, it's going to count down. I guess I have the counter on, but you can see it's recording the vocals. What most people don't know is if you right click the R or record button, it's gonna give you options. And the options are recording starts on playback, disarm on stop and enable recording markers. So mess around with these. These are really helpful. I have all those checked on. It just helps when it comes to recording vocals, uh, especially if you're an independent artist and you don't have somebody tracking your vocals for you. You can turn on the three, two, one feature, which is a countdown before recording. So if you don't want that on, you can just deselect it and you're able to just record right away. So for a quick bonus tip, when it comes to the metronome, sometimes when you have the metronome on, it can be a little too loud and it bleeds through your headphones into the microphone. If you want to turn that down, it's really simple. All you gotta do is go to your MIDI settings. Let's go to audio settings. Where it says preview mixer track, you can select, we'll do eight because it's a free insert. Nothing is tracked out to that insert. Once you have that selected and you turn on the metronome and press play, it's going to be routed to that insert. You are able to adjust the volume of that metronome. 
If you want to learn more about recording vocals in FL Studio, I have a video for that. You can find it in the upper right hand corner. That is it for me. I hope everybody has a blessed day. Thank you for your time. Peace. Thank you.